Hello everyone and welcome back to my video. The Ship Design Minimum Braking Load SDMBL, is a standardized reference value specified in MEG4. It represents the minimum braking load of mooring lines required for a ship based on its size, type, and mooring configuration. SDMBL is used to ensure consistency in the design and selection of mooring equipment and mooring lines, aligning with the ship's operational and environmental requirements. Purpose of SDMBL Standardization Provides a uniform basis for selecting mooring line strength and associated equipment. Safety margin Ensures the mooring lines and equipment can withstand expected forces during typical and extreme operating conditions. Equipment alignment SDMBL is used to align the design of winches, fairleads, bollards, and other mooring components with the line's capacities. Calculation of SDMBL SDMBL is determined using ship-specific data such as displacement, freeboard, and mooring arrangements. The formula incorporates safety factors and operational considerations, which are provided in guidelines like MEG-4. The general steps include Environmental forces Evaluate wind, current, and wave forces acting on the ship. Ship dimensions Consider displacement, draft, and freeboard. Mooring arrangement Determine the number and configuration of mooring lines used. Safety factor. Apply safety margins to account for dynamic loads and environmental extremes. Relation to other terms. SDMBL versus MBL. SDMBL is a design value to ensure that the mooring line's MBL meets or exceeds this minimum. SDMBL versus LDBF. SDMBL is a benchmark for design, while the line design brake force, LDBF, is the tested as new strength of a specific mooring line. Percentage requirement. The LDBF of mooring lines should be between 100% and 105% of the SDMBL. This ensures compliance with design and operational safety requirements. Chief Officer and Master Understanding. Mooring line selection. Ensure mooring lines have an LDBF is greater than or equal to SDMBL to meet safety standards. Equipment compatibility. Verify mooring winches, bollards, and fairleads can handle loads corresponding to SDMBL. Inspection and maintenance. Monitor line residual strength, ensuring it remains above operational requirements relative to SDMBL. Operational safety. Use SDMBL as a reference when assessing mooring line performance during dynamic conditions. For more videos, subscribe Sailor360 and stay connected.